On the second episode of What's In My Bag, we have a not yet released bag. This is the Boundary Errant Backpack. Boundary is known for their super popular modular backpack on Kickstarter way back when, but they're back on Kickstarter now with this camera everyday backpack, and they're currently being funded for a very steeply discounted price if you're interested, or stay till the end and you may have a chance to win one of these. So let's check it out. So here's the lowdown. The Boundary Errant Backpack is their second bag following their premium system they called the Ultimate Modular Pack. I'd say the Errant is a stripped down, not so intense, simplified version, which makes sense as they title it the Ultimate Everyday Backpack. Starting on the outside, the 210 High Tenacity Hyperlon panel running through the entire center of the bag. It's like a nylon-y, rubberish material that just feels durable to the touch. 500D Duramax Kodra panels on both sides of the bag that sounds like some evil battery brand but is a lighter, flexible material but just as weatherproofing. The back panel is one of my favorite features though, a stiff core corrugated channel foam covered in a nylon mesh gives the bag its structure but also feels really great on the back. It's surprisingly a system that actually helps with my back sweat. The shoulder straps are a little stiff, they may need some more breaking in as I start to feel them dig in on longer trips, but for the most part combined with the chest strap they help distribute the load comfortably. Standard top handle, slightly padded, nothing special. However, it is nice to include a side handle, great when traveling or if you want to hold it old school briefcase style. Oh and those floppy straps when you do so, there's a strap for those straps. And as this bag does double as the camera bag, it can get heavy. So Thankfully, they include a waist strap, and double thankfully, they made it removable because no one likes loose hanging straps when you're not using them. And like I said, stormproof zippers all day. So to show off the inside, let's get packing. The bag has two points of entry, starting with the top flap closure held shut with these cool magnetic latches, which in theory should make opening and shutting a breeze, but at least with this pre-production model, the quick access zipper right beside it has a metal button installed that loves to just cock block the love making of these magnets. Minor annoyances aside, the front quick access pocket is one of the most useful thanks to how easy it is to access and that nylon wool hybrid material that keeps any gear inside scratch free which makes it great for a place to store my favorite pair of sunglasses that the still union maglock simple affordable and scratch resistant in itself now the pocket itself is about a hand's height but quite spacious volume wise so that's where i also carry my oloclip lens set my favorite mobile lens system they've got a wide range of lenses to choose from at an affordable price point it's the all-in-one lens set you need if you're a mobile creator moving on to the second dedicated quick access pocket it's fairly flat but quite tall and obviously sealed up with that YKK stormproof zipper. They include a magnetically attached keychain, they call it the HT key, but inside the pocket with keys attached, I found it took up way too much room and defeated the purpose of the pocket, so I actually skipped using it. Starting with the larger slot, I actually carry a slingshot, the Burnley Sling Pop to be exact. Made of a solid piece of aluminum, it's small but packs a punch. I know it's an odd item, but shooting a slingshot just has a super satisfying feeling, especially when you hit your target. Next up, I always encourage you to carry some sort of tool with you, and the James Elko knife is the perfect one in this case. A pry, scraper, or flat hand on one end, and a mini fold-out blade within it. It's also super cute. I recently picked this up and I carry it everywhere I go now. The Mech Armor X7S is a modular flashlight, lighter, and storage container all in one. Why? Because you never know and it just takes up the same amount of space as a ballpoint pen. This mobile tripod is my favorite to combine with the Oloclip lens set. The Joby Grip Tight 1 with the micro tripod folds into the size of two cigarettes but folds out to hold your phone at a wide range of angles. And instead of their included key clip, I've been using the Bellroy key cover. It's a simple leather folder that stores two keys, it's all I personally need. Around the back panel, we've got a secret pocket. Again, with that waterproof zipper, this bag is more weatherproof than an umbrella. What? It's tight, lined along that stiff back, but it can go fairly deep like your girlfriend. Basically, flat items only, and I like to throw my wallet in there when I know I'm not using it. The Bedroy Microsleeve wallet is still my go-to, just because of how flat, versatile, and smart the damn thing is. Wabam! Now for that second entry point to the inside of the bag, the whole back panel zips open. They have this locking latch that prevents you from accidentally going too far when you don't want to, and mildly doubles as a security measure from thieves. I use the back panel for most of my electronics with these two mesh pockets storing smaller accessories, starting with the Noban power pack, but I keep it for the built-in tile integration that allows me to ping my iPhone, and vice versa, but with it in the bag, it doubles as a bag finder. In the other mesh pocket going old school tech, my Bellroy mini notebook cover, housing my field notes I use as a to-do list, idea jotter, and all around doodle archive, because nothing is better for creating than pen and paper. And my pen of choice goes to the Fisher Space Bullet Pen, a very portable black on black on black pen that unfolds to a full size pen, but also stores away to the size of like a cigarette. Now behind that, two very well padded pockets, a larger laptop pocket, and a smaller tablet slot. Both pockets are secured from anything falling out with yet another magnetic latch. And that's not all, another magnet under that magnet for the smaller tablet pocket, because you can never have enough magnets. Never. 
I counted. My current go-to setup at the moment is the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, smart keyboard, with the thinnest case I could find, the Spigen Thin Fit with its wicked matte black finish. Oh, and of course the Apple Pencil. It's a super portable setup for storyboarding, scripting, research, but if I ever do need to edit on the go, my Dell XPS 15 inch laptop fits right behind it, no problem. It does add some bulk, but everything is super organized, and the brunt of the weight is right beside your back, keeping the weight of the bag near your center of gravity. And the laptop pocket allows it to rest about an inch and a half above ground when set down, a very welcome detail they did overlook. So taking a look at the main compartment now, two large mesh pockets on each side, a top flat mesh pocket, and your main open space. So starting with the side pockets, do note that the more you store in these mesh pockets, the more you sacrifice on the corresponding exterior pockets. This chiffon 3-in-1 cable is a shorter version of the Nomad, but also sporting lightning, USB-C, and micro, just as a backup as I always have this in my bag for any emergency. Then I also carry the Nomad battery cable as a dedicated lightning cable, but it also has a built-in battery right into it, and I'm all for multi-purpose products. Next, it's something different. I've been carrying around the GoPro Fusion. I'm not reviewing it or claim to know anything about 360 photos or video, but I wanted to test out the technology and the Fusion is definitely one of the best in terms of quality. And I slide it right into the mesh pocket to keep it from sliding around. Now within the main compartment, it's summer, so I always carry an extra t-shirt. Same goes for a sweat towel, the more the merrier. And this is my favorite outdoor accessory to carry, the Matador Pocket Blanket. It's like a large towel made of a super thin but durable nylon. It's about a meter and a half wide, but also folds into the palm of your hand. Next up is the top mesh pocket, which is super clutch and keeping my need to grab items organized. Starting with wired headphones, this is mostly for when I edit on my laptop, but I do store it in a hard case because wires are the worst. The Jabra Elite Sport is my wireless go-to earphones. They're waterproof, discreet, and super comfy even for my large ass ears. No joke, my second wallet, I carry the Bellroy All Conditions Wallet, which stores all my extra cards I don't always need, coupons, gift cards, and of course, my McDonald's coffee stickers. A pack of gum because I love onions and garlic too much, a stack in case I get the shakes, wet naps because they're tiny and flat, but also because the world is just a dirty place. And finally, some mosquito wipes because the summer means bugs and bugs just love my fresh Asian blood and these wipes are just easy to carry and apply when I need it. I wouldn't recommend carrying anything heavy in this pocket as it is suspended from the top, but it's fairly spacious enough to store all my essentials, easy peasy, lemon breezy. And finally, I attach my hero clip on every bag I carry. It's basically like a portable clothes hook and if you've ever gone to a public toilet with your bag on, you'll be thankful you had this to hang it on the door while you handle your business. Now they're also releasing a new Mark II camera insert that fits in the main compartment. And this little guy carries almost everything I need for a shoot on the go. Starting with my new Sigma 60mm f1.4, the bokeh is amazing, it's fairly wide, and if you've got any Sony mirrorless camera, you need this lens. The second lens I carry is the Sigma 30mm f1.4. It's not as important, but just as amazing in quality. I carry a wireless trigger to activate my secondary camera because I only have so many hands. A small rig top handle grip with a quick release attached on one end, which fits my 5 inch small HD focus camera also in a small rig cage for the ultimate protection, which basically allows me to throw it around without worrying about it. But these two pieces combined build right onto my main camera, again with a small red cage on. Everything attaches quickly, stays on securely, and then breaks down easily and quickly for storage when I'm done. My secondary camera is a Sony RX105 because it's got 480 frames per second slow-mo goodness. I've got some extra third-party Wasabi power batteries for the RX100 with a micro USB based charger just in case it's a long shoot day. The same concept with the RAV power charger for my extra A6500 batteries, and also a spare MPF50 battery for my monitor. A new accessory I'm carrying now, ND filters. They basically darken your overall shot, which helps in bright sunlight, or if you want to shoot at a faster aperture for that creamy bokeh look. My on-camera mic of choice is the Rode Video Micro with the Dead Cat. It's tiny, it sounds good, and it can be had for under $100. The Mark II is fully padded with a stiffened exterior structure and includes many more dividers than you'll ever need. But it's also got a padded zipper pocket for small items to stay organized. A lens cleaning pen should be a staple in every bag, and some spare SD cards I throw into the mesh pocket. There's quite a bit of room for smaller items, but they've got to be relatively flat to fit. And that's it. Most of the gear I need when shooting outside the studio inside this one pouch I could throw into my main bag with my already packed everyday carry items. However, if I am using the bag during a shoot, I will remove some items from my carry. First off, the GoPro Fusion as it's more so a toy for me right now, and my iPad Pro as the insert does fatten the bag up. I just don't like having my back squeezed against the screen constantly while walking. Plus, I also just don't use it during a shoot anyways. Now, the inside of the main compartment has Velcro strips that fit to the corresponding strips on the Mark II. However, in my experience, I found the back panel constantly squished the bottom of the bag, which meant it was hard to get the Velcro to align the insert directly to the bottom of the bag, which often left a gap on the bottom and required me to strip the Velcro and redo it. 
which can get fairly annoying as you can imagine. Secondly, when the insert is fully packed, it takes up a lot of the width of the bag, basically making any side pockets inaccessible to almost unusable. What I end up doing and found to be more comfortable overall, simply flipping the insert around without relying on the Velcro and storing the insert vertically instead. Now you lose the quick access of it, which wasn't a big deal for me as I use the camera gear on set only, but it allows you to slide the bag all the way to the bottom, and although it takes up more vertical space, gives you back that side mesh, quick access, and water bottle pocket access. Now within the leftover top space, which is still a fair amount, I double whammy the shirts and pocket blanket as padding to stick my main A6500 camera with the lens right in there. And when the bag is in camera mode, that external expandable water bottle pocket houses my favorite portable tripod, the Manfrotto B3. Strapped in with the dedicated tool strap on the bag, I felt fairly confident everything stays in place. Oh, but one extra accessory because you sacrifice the water bottle pocket for the tripod, and I always promote staying hydrated, I use the spider holster water bottle pocket clip on accessory that has a quick release and it clips onto my shoulder strap which means easy access to liquids without even taking the bag off. But that's really it. Everything I need to take with me on a shoot and it fits with all my everyday gear all in one place. But look, I've only had this bag for about two weeks which is not a lot of time to actually test a bag out. But based on that experience, here's five things that I really love about this bag. The first thing you'll notice about the bag is the premium material choices they went with. Sealed YKK waterproof zippers everywhere and that Hypalon and Duramax combo keeps the whole bag dry on the inside. Oh yeah. Although they only market the side pocket here as a quick access pocket, and rightfully so because it works well like that, the whole bag's pocketing system is actually fairly accessible really quickly. Especially through that top section, if you have the zippers near the top, you just gotta unzip the top, and well bam! You have full access to that mesh pocket where I carry all these doohickeys, and then that whole back panel is easily accessible vertically, and then that MacBook or laptop or iPad section here that's locked in with the magnetic latch, all there! Right there. The next best thing is this bottom wet dry pocket that separates what you want to put in here from everything else in your bag. Like wet shoes, wet clothes, and it's lined in this odorless and absorbless material. So feel free to throw in those dirty gym clothes and not stink up the rest of your bag, which is great because I sweat a lot. So basically to answer your question, is this bag right for you? Probably, it's a really great bag, but there's a lot of great bags out there already that'll probably meet your needs as well. What makes Boundary special? is their modular accessories. And that's what made their first backpack really popular. It's the modular design with a whole range of accessories. If there's a functionality you didn't like or you wanted, you could just add or remove these modules to make it like your perfect bag. And really that's the killer feature for me on this bag. Compared to the original bag, this one's a little more streamlined, a little smaller, and as a bag itself without any accessories, it's a great day-to-day -day bag to begin with. Especially if you fund it now on Kickstarter, you're gonna get that early bird pricing for both the bag and the accessories. Now, if you're still watching, you're probably really interested in getting one of these bags. Well, the second link under the first link, that would make it the second link, is a giveaway for one of these bad boys. So if you're really digging this bag and want to save some money, hit that first link down below for the Kickstarter page, or hit that second link for the giveaway and play your luck, I guess. Anyways, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below if you're digging this bag or what bag are you carrying. And I rest my bag?